Bonjour, bonjour, and welcome to Everyday French with Cécile Bibi. That's me. Nous allons parler de Halloween en France. Let's talk about Halloween in France. Halloween a commencé en ce qui est maintenant l'Irlande avec une fête celtique païenne. Halloween started in what is now Ireland with a pagan Celtic celebration. Les gens laissaient de la nourriture sur les pas de leurs portes pour attirer les bons esprits et porter des masques qui font peur pour effrayer les mauvais esprits. People left food on their doorsteps to attract the good spirits and wore scary masks to frighten the bad spirits. The French would say they wore masks that make fear. Et puis, les Romains sont venus et voici ce qu'ils ont dit. Nous aimons votre nourriture et vos masques, mais nous voudrions ajouter une journée pour rendre hommage à nos morts et reconnaître la fin des récoltes. Along came the Romans and this is what they said. We like your food and masks, but to this we'd like to add a day to honor our dead and recognize the end of the harvest. En France, la Toussaint est fêtée le 1er novembre et les familles rendent visite aux chers disparus pour mettre des fleurs sur les tombes et certaines personnes assistent aux cérémonies religieuses. In France, All Saints Day is celebrated on the 1st of November and families visit loved ones they've lost to put flowers on graves and some people attend religious ceremonies. So one way of saying lost ones in French is dear departed, cher disparu. And then you have assister, which means to attend. So if you attend French lessons, you could say j'assiste à des cours de français. Même si Halloween n'est pas vraiment fêté en France, il y a des gens qui vont à des fêtes déguisés en costumes qui font peur. Although, or even if Halloween isn't really celebrated in France, some people go to parties dressed up in scary costumes. Beaucoup de magasins décorent leurs vitrines ou leurs devantures avec des potirons, les sorcières et plein d'autres choses qu'on associe avec Halloween. Many shops decorate their shop windows or front of shop with pumpkins, witches and plenty of other things that we associate with Halloween. Certains enfants vont à la chasse aux bonbons, mais ils se retrouvent souvent avec de vieux bonbons trouvés dans les recoins des tiroirs. Et pire encore, souvent ces enfants se font gronder. Some children go trick-or-treating. Trick-or-treating in French is the sweetie, the candy hunt, la chasse aux bonbons. But often find themselves with old sweets found in the nooks and crannies of drawers. And worse still, these children often get told off. Some people don't agree with Halloween, maybe for religious reasons, or they just don't like to be disturbed. D'accord, on va regarder du vocabulaire de Halloween. We're going to look at some Halloween vocabulary. Automne, autumn. Le 31 octobre, okay, all numbers are masculine, so it's always le, the 31st of October. Avoir peur, what does it mean? We use to be afraid, the French use to have fear. Avoir peur. I've written the masculine in blue and the feminine in pink. Faire peur. Okay, to frighten. The expression in French is to make fear, to make someone frightened. Faire peur à quelqu'un. Effrayer. And être effrayé. Okay. To terrify. I've got a picture of a frayed piece of material there. Like afraid, terrify. It's a bit more than being scared. To terrify. And if you are terrified, être effrayé. 
potiron. So pumpkin. So they're the potiron, the big ones that are inedible, immangeable. La citrouille est plus petite, smaller, et mangeable, and edible. Déguisement ou costume. Of course, costume. Disguise. Se déguiser. To dress up, to disguise oneself. So how do you say autumn? Or fall. Autumn, it's masculine. 31st of October, the French would say the. Le 31 octobre. To be afraid, to say to have fear. Avoir peur. To frighten, the French say to make fear. Faire peur à quelqu'un. To terrify, be afraid. We have this frayed material. Effrayé, être effrayé. Pumpkin. Potiron, le potiron, un potiron. Costume. So you can say costume with a French accent. Costume. Or you can say disguise. Déguisement. And the verb to dress up, to disguise oneself, se déguiser. G-U-I and G-U-E is a hard G. Because normally G followed by I or E becomes soft, like Gite or Gérard. Sorcière. Qu'est-ce que ça veut dire? What does it mean? Witch. Sorcier, a wizard, a warlock, un mort vivant, or sometimes you hear un revenant. Okay, a zombie, living dead, un mort vivant, un revenant is somebody who's come back from the dead. Revenir, to come back. Fantôme, of course, a ghost. Lutin. You might not know this one. Lutin is a goblin. Lougarou! Au, oh, au, oh, au! Oh, a werewolf. Lougarou. Diable. Devil. We get words like diabolical from diable. Mummy. <laughs> Une mummy. Yes, a mummy. How do you say witch? Sorcière. A wizard or a warlock? Sorcier. Zombie? Like a living dead? Or a comebacker? Un mort vivant. Un revenant. Okay. Ghost? Phantom. Goblin? Imagine them looting shops. Lutin. Werewolf. Lugaru. Devil. Diable. Mummy. Mummy. Une mummy. Clown. Of course, clown. Squelette. To you is a hard K sound in French. A skeleton. Normally, et words are feminine, but this one is an exception. It's un squelette. Le squelette. Monstre. Of course, monster. Tête de mort. It's how they say skull in French. Une tête de mort. Crâne de sucre. Crâne de sucre. Sugar skull. Masque. Bien sûr, masque. Vampire. La chasse aux bonbons. And jouer un tour à quelqu'un. Have a guess. The top one, la chasse aux bonbons, is the sweetie, the candy hunt. 
The trick part, which isn't really practiced in France, is jouer un tour à quelqu'un. To play a trick, a turn on someone. Pomme d'amour. Take a guess. What's in pomme? Okay. They call them a love apple. Candy apple, toffee apple, pomme d'amour. A vous, how do you say clown? Comedy French time. It's the same but with a French accent. Un clown. Skeleton. Squelette. Q-U is a hard K. Squelette. Monster. Turn the last two letters around. Monstre. Skull. Head of dead. Une tête de mort. Sugar skull. Crâne de sucre. Crâne. Think of cranium. Crâne. If you have a headache in French, you can say j'ai mal à la tête. But a more colloquial way is to say j'ai mal au crâne. My cranium hurts. Mask. Comedy French. Un masque. Vampire. Just the comedy French we like. Vampire. Trick or treat. So the first one is the hunt for sweets, for candy. And the second one is to play a trick on someone. Chasse, la chasse aux bonbons. Un jouer un tour à quelqu'un. A trick. Toffee apple. Apple of love. Pomme d'amour. Chaudron. Cauldron. You know that chaud means hot. Chaudron. Chauve-souris. Une chauve-souris. It literally means bald mouse. A bald mouse with wings. A bat. Une chauve-souris. Araignée. Think arachnophobia, spider. Toile d'araignée. Spider's web, cobweb. Ballet. Okay, broom. To sweep is balayer, balay. If somebody says to you, du balay, they're saying clear off, sweep off. Chat noir. Black cat. Tombe, a grave, à vous, cauldron, it had the word hot at the beginning, chaudron, bat, chauve-souris, a bald mouse, <laughs> les ailes avec des ailes, with wings, spider, Araignée. G-N is a N sound. You cannot hear the G. Araignée. It's like onion, onion. Spider's web, cobweb. Toile d'araignée. A broom. Ballet. Du ballet. Sweep off. Ballet. Black cat. Chat noir. A grave. Tombe. Une tombe. Pleine lune. Full moon. Maison hantée. Haunted house. So what does hanté mean? To haunt. Cimetière. A cemetery. La Toussaint. All Saints Day. Le 1er novembre. The 1st of November. A vous, your turn. How do you say full moon? Pleine lune. Honeymoon, lune de miel. Haunted house. 
maison hantée. To haunt. Hanté. Cemetery. Cimetière. All Saints Day. La Toussaint, which is on the 1st of November, le 1er novembre. If you would like to practice your French, try answering some of these questions or talking about some of these conversation starters. Par exemple, est-ce que vous aimez Halloween? Pourquoi oui? Pourquoi non? Do you like Halloween? Yes or no and why? Comment fêtez-vous Halloween ces jours-ci? How do you celebrate Halloween these days? Comment avez-vous fêté Halloween quand vous étiez enfant ou quand vos enfants étaient jeunes? How did you celebrate Halloween when you were a child or when your children were young? Expliquez aux Français comment Halloween se fête d'habitude dans votre région. Explain to French people how Halloween is usually celebrated in your area. Racontez une histoire qui fait peur. Une histoire de fantôme. Tell a scary story or a ghost story. Une journée dans la vie d'un loup-garou ou une sorcière ou un mort-vivant ou une momie ou un fantôme. Pretend you are a werewolf or a witch or a zombie or a mummy or a ghost and give us a day in the life of your life. Halloween en France. Click on the link to get the accompanying PDFs to go with this Halloween in French lesson. It will take you to the Fun French Hub for free fun French lessons, tips and tricks. Merci, à la prochaine fois.